Taurus, what's going on? It's your girl D with 8th House Energy. I'm here to bring you your What's Their True Intentions reading for July 2020. Shout out to the Bull Gang. I hope all is well. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer as much as you can, despite everything negative that's going on. We're really not trying to talk about that. Let's just try to focus on the positive. You know, it's beautiful for most places. Hopefully you guys didn't get slammed by that storm. Shout out to those who are, um, you know, having some issues with that. Sending some internet hugs your way. I haven't checked the news to see what's going on, though. So, just trying to stay out of that zone. You know, it's always bad news <laughs> on the news. They should just call it bad news instead of the news. But at any rate, this is a general read. It's not going to resonate with every Taurus. So, take what resonates, leave the rest. There's going to be an extended. The link's in the box below. And we're going to see what's up with this person coming towards you. Who's coming towards you with the Seven of Swords energy? Who is this Taurus? And we got the world card here. Somebody is um, hiding something from you. What are they hiding from you, Taurus? What is this person got going on? I'm just trying to find out a little bit about you and this person, and then I'm going to find out how they, you know, what their true intentions are here. We got the chariot in reverse, another major arcana. Are you trying to end something with someone? Is someone trying to end something with you? Someone, it looks like somebody got caught out there doing something. We got the three of pentacles in reverse energy here. Somebody got caught in their tricks. That's what I'm feeling right here. What else we got for Taurus? Got the knight of pentacles here. All right, this is somebody planning something, somebody taking their time with something. Trying to make sense of things. We got the King of Wands here. And then once they make sense of things, they're going to take action here. We got the Two of Pentacles underneath the deck here. Trying to make something grow. Trying to... Expansion and growth is what I'm getting here. Could be, you know, someone trying to juggle more than one person, more than one situation. But somebody is hiding something with the Seven of Swords energy. You need to get right into that. What is this person hiding? And then we have the World card here. So there's an end of the cycle coming. Maybe somebody's trying to dip out on someone, but they can't. That's what I'm feeling like. Somebody's trying to move and trying to dip out on someone, but they, they can't go yet for whatever reason. And then, you know, with the Three of Pentacles here, the, the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Hmm. We're going to see what's up with this other person. So I'm reading two different energies here. Somebody's trying to dip off. But let's clarify the Seven of Swords. What is the Seven of Swords? We got the Two of Swords reverse. Indecision, maybe making a decision finally. Stop worrying about other people's feelings because it was a burden. You had to let it go. So somebody's sneaking off somewhere. Clarify this world energy. We got the world in the chariot reverse. Somebody can't move. Somebody can't relocate. Someone can't travel. But they, but things are over for them. It's over. It's just they can't physically move on it. Clarify the world energy here. We have the high priestess energy. Yeah, see, someone is like, yeah, I'm done. I'm just not saying anything with the seven of swords and the high priestess energy. I'm not letting this person know what's going on. We got the four of swords. Yep. And I'm at peace with that. I don't, I'm, it's over. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm feeling like somebody's relieved. Okay? Like relief. Clarify this chariot in reverse energy up here. Alright, we're going to go take that. That fell down there. Alright, so we got the five of cups reverse. And... The Three of Wands, reverse. So somebody's got a whole new outlook on this situation. They realize it's not going anywhere. So they're just like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm tired of this. This situation is just not going anywhere. You know? It's over. You're not talking to this person. They're not talking to you. We have the Four of Pentacles clarifying the Three of Pentacles, reverse. Someone is feeling guarded. They don't want to... Um, it could be because of... Um, Someone is guarding the fact that they're 
Hmm. We got the Eight of Swords reverse. Clarity here. Someone sees something for what it is. Now who sees what? This Three of Pentacles, this could be, you know, this person protecting themselves against people who they know may be trying to come after them for their money. People who might be um, acting like they want to work with them or connect with them. from, But, it's, you know, it's all about money. Saying, come on, let's do something. Let's work together. We got the Two of Cups energy here. This is somebody who wants to um, connect with someone, but they want to take things slow. They don't want to rush into things. We have the um, Knight of Cups in reverse here. Somebody may have been turned down in the past. What's this Knight of Cups in reverse? Somebody may have tried to apologize and was turned down in the past because they got caught out there doing whatever it was they were doing. The Seven of Swords is showing up twice in this reading. What's this King of Wands energy here? What's this King of Wands about? This is somebody wanting to take some type of action. Someone coming up with a creative way to do something. A creative way to figure something out. And that's three. Yeah, with the Six of Swords, a creative way to leave. Somebody's trying to go somewhere. getting like somebody's leaving or coming energy when I'm shuffling these cards nothing is coming out because nobody wants to tell what the, what the what the plan is see this person is very sneaky we got the seven of swords showing up twice here and the four of swords and the high priestess so quiet is kept for sure all right we have the six of pentacles in reverse somebody's all about themselves trying to get whatever they can get for them which is why it's sneaky energy around so you got somebody coming around you for whatever reason. This person who's coming to you or coming back to you could be somebody you just met. Those too many. They are coming around for selfish reasons. Okay. Um, they're not being honest. It could be somebody that you're not talking to. We got the Six of Cups here. Could be someone, maybe you... Know, you um, think about often could be somebody that you have a child with could be somebody that you feel like is acting immature could be somebody who um you know you feel this past life connection with it could be any of those things it could be all of them you might be thinking about you know how good it could be with this person how you could benefit from being with this person we have justice energy here and the two of wands in reverse and then the Hierophant under the deck. Someone's trying to get money from somebody. Somebody's trying to deal with somebody to get money from them. But they're trying to lie to them about it. Yeah, they're trying to get some they're trying to get some money so they can get out of here. So they're gonna pretend that they want to be in a steady type of um, committed relationship when in reality that's not what they want at all they're fronting um, what they're doing is they're coming up with a plan and the plan is to get what they can from you and they look at you you look like you're an opportunity for this person Jesus Christ Taurus so Taurus, this is either someone feeling this way about you coming towards you or you're feeling this way about somebody going this way towards someone. It's like you're looking at them as an opportunity. This is why this Two of Pentacles is showing up here. So you are looking at them like an opportunity or they're looking at you. This person, since I'm doing it for you, let's just talk about you. This person is coming towards you because they want to make some money. 
Okay, they may have to travel towards you. They may can't may, may not be able to get to you. They may have some car issues, transportation issues. Yeah, but they're gonna front like you know. They want something with you, but they they don't want anything serious with you. This is what I'm getting strongly. Let's see how this person truly feels about you. I'm thinking it's about dough. Okay, so you guys out here feeling good, looking good, feeling good, and you got the haters coming out here trying to you know get in your pockets mad because they can't get what they you know because they can't manifest we're gonna see what's up now unfortunately there's some tourists who are doing this who are on the prowl they see a victim and they going after them let's see what's up So how does this, what's the situation between Taurus and this individual? The uh, link for the um, extended is going to be in the box below. If this resonates, please click the like button, subscribe. Here's the, uh, the Princess of Wands in Reverse. This is the equivalent of the Page of Wands in Reverse. This is, to me, it talks about not being interested, not having an interest, or it's just all about sex. It's like a situationship type of thing, but it's based on sex. There's no real love there. There's no emotion as far as love. Is strictly physical. How does this person feel about you overall? What is this person thinking about you, Taurus? That's what they think about the connection. That's where they feel the connection is. Either they're just not interested in you, you don't turn them on, or you know, they're you're not attracted to them, or they're not attracted to you. Alright, so how do they feel about you overall then? So we know they're not attracted to you or not turned on for you. So we know that with the two of wands in reverse, they don't have any plans on going anywhere with you, doing anything, you know, other than this is what I'm feeling here, sex. So let's see what they feel about you deep down. So we have the ten of wands in reverse. They want to let go of the situation, or maybe they want you to let go. But we'll clarify that and find out what's up with that ten of wands. Let's see. We got the uh, six of wands in reverse. Yeah, they want you to um to loosen up. <laughs> And just, you know, give in to them. That's what they want. They want you to give in to their whims. So whatever they want, you know. This person, as far as the Six of Wands in reverse, this person, they have a lot of um, suitors I get here. And they, you know, the, people give in to them. And they it looks like they want you to give in. What's this person talking about when they come towards you? What's, what's up with them? We got the Ten of Swords. So this person could be coming with, you know, um, a lot of drama, a lot of frustration, communication issues. Um, you know, the communication is frustrating is what I'm getting here. I'm feeling that strongly here. I'm feeling like, you know, it's a situation where it's always something. Every time you talk to this person, it's just like, what the hell? What external factors? Say you guys decided to try to get together and work things out and you gave this person a chance. What external factors would keep you guys from working out? We got the Six of Pentacles here. So, you know, people being fair, people being honest, people being real. That's what would keep you from working things out. This person has no intentions of keeping it real with you. They, they're not interested in anything serious. Um, their goal is to get whatever it is they need to get from you and they're going to be out. If you guys decided, you know, if you decided to take this person up on their offer and get with them in the way that they want it, where would the situation be six to eight weeks from now? We got the temperance in reverse. Ugh. That's not good. I don't like the temperance in reverse, but we just need to find... Yeah, see? Under the deck, seven of wands. So what is this about? This person is hot-blooded. That's what I'm getting here. They're hot-blooded... They can't help it. You got somebody who's hot blooded, and this is what it is. There's a lot of this energy going on right now. Um, yeah, because the, we have the Princess of Wands here and Temperance, and like I said, this person wants you to. Um, they want to deep down. They want. They want to. They want you to give in. It's like they feel like you're fighting them. They feel like you know, like this person is a conqueror. Okay, because we have the Six of Swords. I'm sorry, the Six of Wands in reverse. This person is a is a conquestador. <laughs> if that's even a word, con conquest 
Anyway, listen, this person is someone who's a conqueror, okay? They're a conqueror of notches on their belt, whether this is a woman or a man, okay? And they, um, you know, look for people who have money. So the only thing that would keep you guys from working out is if there was somebody else who was giving them money. Because they're about money with the Six of Pentacles. This is why they do what they do. This strikes me as somebody who, yeah, see, they're not attracted to you. They don't find you attractive. They just want your money. They want you to give in. They want to, um, you know, get you to the point where you're open off of them. And then they're still out here running around dealing with everyone else. And they want to cloud your vision with love, making you think that it's really love. With the um, Sun card in reverse and the um, King of Cups energy. See, they want to play mind games with you. Uh, with the Three of Swords reverse here, they're going to probably try to come back and apologize and tell you that everything is all good. You know, by the time you contact them or reach out to them, it'll be a surprise that they reach out to you because... You know, this person doesn't contact you often. I don't show you two, you guys talk too much. I'm showing like the tower card and then the um the princess of swords. So it's like if this person calls you, it's like, wow, okay, what's up? You know, out of the blue. I'm showing this person could still be dealing with someone. With the lovers in reverse and the three of swords reverse. So it looks like Taurus, you're dealing with someone who is still dealing with someone else. But um, we're going to find out what their approach is to you and what they're going to tell you so that you know what's up when they come to you. You already know the lie before they cast it. Yeah, because they're all about money. All right. All about money. So. Yeah, we're going to go to the extended and find out a little bit more. What's this temperance energy? I'm, I'm thinking this is this person using... This person, I, I feel strongly that this is somebody who will offer themselves to the higher, highest bidder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull from my deck too and extend it. Because this is just a deck that I put of people's, um, you know, different types of characteristics that people will display. So um, we're going to pull that and extend it as well. So the link's in the box below. Let me know if this resonated with you. I love you guys. I appreciate you uh, supporting the channel. I'll see you in the extended or I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out, Taurus.